Hello everybody and welcome to Stardew Valley. Uh, this is actually one of my all-time favorite games. Uh, that being said, I'm not that great at it. <laughs> um, but no, I I was just uh, looking through my Steam library and I thought it's actually been a minute since I've played it. So I think it would be good to pick it up again. Uh, so let's just get right in with a new save, shall we? All right. Oh, what's this? Oh, advanced options. Okay. Uh, no, I'm I'm fine for now. Let's do this. So, uh, what's a good name? I guess I could just do my name. Uh, farm name. I could do. Uh, if I can spell anything properly. Uh, you know what? That'll work. I think it'll be fine. Um, let's see. I'll do... Just do that. Why not? Uh, let's see. I am a male... Yeah, I'm gonna try to make this kind of look like me. So I am pretty pale. Oh, so we'll probably do four. Um, and I am. There we go. There we go. That's good there. All right, so let's look at doing a little bit closer to there. Um, something more like maybe a little bit too dark. Sure. Um, I do technically have glasses, but you can't do a beard and glasses. So let's just stick with the beard. I think it'll be fine. Uh, and then pants, I usually wear like a darker jean. Yeah. All right. You know, looks good. That's fine. Uh, I don't think we're going to need to mess with any of these, right? Because... Uh, yeah, just normal. Uh, put on everything, really. Um, okay. Uh, yeah, and I think I'm just gonna start with the standard farm. Maybe if we do another series of this or something way down the road, maybe we'll go down them or something. I don't know. Uh, and we're not gonna skip the intro for any of you who have maybe never actually seen the game so let's just let's just get right into it and for my very special grandson I want you to have this sealed envelope oh Oh, uh, thanks, Grandpa. No, no, don't open it yet. Have patience. Now, listen close. Uh, uh all right, Grandpa. There will come a day when you feel crushed by the burden of modern life. Uh, all right, yeah, I feel that. And your bright spirit will fade before a growing emptiness. Oof. Okay. When that happens, my boy, you'll be ready for this gift. Uh, alright. Now, let Grandpa rest. Some time later. Oh, 
I love that dude with the the hat over here. It's great. Nope. This. Dear Tom, if you're reading this, you must be in dire need of a change. The same thing happened to me long ago. I lost sight of what mattered most in life, real connections with other people and nature. So I dropped everything and moved to the place I truly belong. I've enclosed the deed to that place, my pride and joy, Atomic Chew Toy Farm. It's located in Stardew Valley on the southern coast. It's the perfect place to start your new life. This was my most precious gift of all, and now it's yours. I know you'll honor the family name, my boy. Good luck. Love, Grandpa. P.S. If Lewis is still alive, say hi to the old guy for me, will ya? Uh, yeah. We'll do, Grandpa. All right. This is a quite the drive, all right. Let's get into it. Going right to uh, Stardew Valley. Perfect. Oh, there's a little bird there. Hello, you must be Tom. I'm Robin, the local carpenter. Mayor Lewis sent me here to fetch you and show you the way to your new home. He's there right now, tidying things up for your arrival. The farm's right over here, if you'll follow me. This is Atomic Chew Toy Farm. Whoa, what a mess. Uh, sure it's a bit overgrown, but there's some good soil underneath that mess. With a little dedication, you'll have it cleaned up in no time. You can say that again. And here we are, your new home. Ah, the new farmer. Welcome, I'm Lewis, mayor of Pelican Town. You know, everyone's been asking about you. It's not every day that someone new moves in. It's quite a big deal. Oh, what? Thank you, Lewis. So, you're moving into your grandfather's old cottage. I'm going to need to make these things bigger and zoom in a bit. It's a good house, very rustic. Rustic, that's one way to put it. Crusty might be a little more apt though. Rude. Don't listen to her, Tom. She's just trying to make you dissatisfied so that you'll buy one of her house upgrades. Anyway, you must be tired from the long journey. You should get some rest. Tomorrow, you ought to explore the town a bit and introduce yourself. The townspeople would appreciate that. Oh, I almost forgot. If you have something to sell, just place it in this box here. I'll come by during the night to collect it. Well, good luck. All right. Well then, bam. All right. Uh, 
things have been changed. Uh, make it better and bigger. Um, let's start oh, by, how can I, there we go. Just want to make this place look a little bit nicer. Uh, that'll be fine. Let's start with our seeds. Nice. 15 parsnip seeds. All right. So this will be a little bit of a slow start. Um, it always is, though, to be fair. So, uh, yeah. So I'm just going to clear out a nice little area here for my farm. So I cleared out a bit of area. I also made this chest. Um, while I was clearing out the area, I got this chicken statue. Um, so the I can take this to the museum, and Gunther, the curator, can uh, uh, tell me more about it. All right. So I think just like right here will be a nice place for my seeds. Uh, I did not really mean to plant on that one, or hoe, but that's alright. So let's see, that's 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 16. Uh, sweet. Now, unfortunately, I don't have any fertilizer yet, and once I do, that'll be really nice. It'll be uh, useful. Uh, it'll make things, you know, grow at a higher quality. All right. Just done watering here. So we actually have a quest, or a few of them. Uh, archaeology. So we need to visit Gunther the museum. We'll take a statue with us. Getting started. If you want to become a farmer, you have to start with the basics. Use your hoe to till the soil. Then use a seed pocket on the tilled soil to sow a crop. Water every day until the crop is ready to harvest. All right, so I've done that. Uh, now I just need to harvest uh, and keep watering. Introductions. Uh, introduce yourself to some people around town. Some people might be anxious to, uh, to meet the new farmer. Two of 28. So that's uh, Robin and Lewis, I believe, are those two. Um, you know what? Let's also, just for the sake of ease next time. Uh, let's fill that up. Right. Um, I'll also pick things up as I go because they can be useful later and I can maybe even gift some of them. All right. Welcome to Pelican Town. Let's uh, who's this? Harvey. Pleasure to meet you. I'm Harvey, the local doctor. All right. So, oh, Marnie. Ah, Mayor Lewis told me you just arrived. I'm Marnie. Oh, nice to meet you, Marnie. I sell livestock and animal care products in my ranch. You should swing by sometime. You know what? I will. Let's see who we got in here. Vincent. Uh, oh, hey. Oh, a stranger. My name's Vincent. Mom said not to talk to strangers, but you seem okay. Yeah, I did just barge into your house, but all right. Oh, you aren't exactly how I imagined. That's okay. I'm Jody. Hello, Jody. All right. Um, I suppose I could make my way over to the museum. Uh, should also probably go and check down on the beach, see if there's anything I can grab. Any valuable loot. Right. Museum. Oh, 
abysmal. Not a single piece in the entire collection. What's this? You found something. Let me see it. Alright, it's a chicken statue. Remarkable. It's very old. I'd love to study this in greater detail, but it is yours. Hmm? I've got a favor to ask you. Would you consider donating any new artifacts or minerals you find? We could make a groundbreaking discovery together. Oh, and who knows? If you keep donating, I might come across some interesting items to send your way. Yeah, that'd be great. You know, they're just gonna give me stuff. Think about it, will you? If you decide to donate, just bring the objects to the front desk. Uh, yep, will do. And in fact, yeah, why don't you get back there now and I'll give you this, uh, chicken statue. Man. Let's put it, uh, here. Nothing for me. All right. Uh, I was just saying basically what I did. Uh, use fertilizer if you can. Uh, you can actually also... Oh, bread. Uh, check the garbage cans too. Uh, you can get usually some decent loot from them. Uh, although people aren't so thrilled. Uh, uh, if they see you do it. Uh, sorry, I skipped past that, but that's Clint. So, uh, he's a blacksmith. We'll go to him to upgrade all of our tools and stuff. Right. Uh, so this is Mayor Lewis's house. Um, let's go check in here, shall we? Ah, uh, George. It's irritating to have to meet all new... Buff. It's irritating to have to meet all these new people, huh? Name's George, by the way. Now buzz off. Uh, George? Kind of meaning. Alex is in there. Guess we'll see him later. Alright. Who's next? Evelyn. Why, hello, and welcome to our little community, dear. You can call me Granny if you'd like. Uh, yeah. Will do. Thanks, Rand. Uh, I already met you. Hello, you must be Tom, the new farmer. I'm Caroline. Nice to meet you, Caroline. Right. Uh, nothing going on. No birthdays. Nothing help wanted. Hello, it's nice to meet you. Uh, Leah? Leia? I think it's Leah. Uh, Pierre. Hello. Well, I did mess that one up. Hey, it's Mr. Tom. The new farmer. I'm Pierre, owner of the local general store. If you're looking for seeds, my shop is the place to go. I'll also buy produce from you for a good price. Good to know. Um, I don't think there's anyone else up in there since it's 3.30. Uh, oh. Almost missed that. Right, let's see. Anyone up here? No, doesn't look like it. Hmm. Right, Mr. Demetrius. Uh, yeah. Uh, you're welcome. Right, let's see. Anyone we want to talk to up here? Linus. I actually really like Linus. I feel really bad for him. Uh, but... 
Oh no, he's he's happy. So I guess that's what matters, right? So, come on. I guess you're leaving now. Oh, it is five, so that makes sense. Oh, uh, so actually, also at these worms here that are on the ground, you can hoe them. This is how I. Ooh. Ah, look at that. A rusty cog. Uh, Gunther can tell you more about this. So that's how I got the chicken statue. So we will just Let's see. Well, it's five forty. People might start going down to the tavern, which there should at least. I mean, I don't know. It is a Monday, so maybe not. Oh, like that. Uh, Alex. Uh, yeah, I'll see, see you around. Uh, oh, two new people here. Maru and Penny. Uh, hello, I'm Penny. And, uh, yeah, I am just the one who, or I am the one who just moved in. Uh, oh, been looking forward to meeting you too. Alright, next is Gus, Shane, Pam, and Emily. Uh, yep, hi Shane, still as mean and depressed as ever. Hey kid, the name's Pam. Oh, I can read it on your face. You're gonna love it here in Pelican Town. If you're ever looking for something to do in the evening, stop by the saloon, that's where I work. That makes sense, let's get behind the counter. Good old Gus. What a nice mustache he has. I'm Gus. Chef and owner of the Star Drop Saloon. Sweet. All right. Let's look at our uh, journal over here. Oh, nice. We completed that quest. Uh, and we have seven more people to greet. Not entirely sure who they are. But you know what? That's all right, I'll, I'll remember. Uh, actually, I think I remember who two of them are. Uh, it'd be Sam and uh, the other one. It's uh, Demetrius and... Uh, oh... Robin's son. What's his name? Uh, oh, I also am missing Haley, Elliot, and Abigail. Oh, I'm missing a lot of people. Okay, uh, uh, I can't remember. That'll that's probably gonna bug me. But all right, that's that's for next time. I'll worry about that later. But for now, let's just head back to uh, the house. Um, it is getting kind of late. All right. So now that we're back, let's just let's see. I'm going to want to keep one of those, one of those. I want to keep all of these things. Usually a, a good rule of thumb for this game is to keep one of every item. So, I'm going to do that. Also, so we got a TV here so we can look at the weather, uh, fortune, and living off the land. So, let's look at the weather for tomorrow. Welcome to Kozu 5, your number one source for weather, news, and entertainment. And now, the weather forecast for tomorrow. It's going to be clear and sunny all day. Wonderful. Uh, let's look at the fortune teller. So this basically tells you the luck you'll have throughout your current day. So by now it's a little bit late to do this, but oh well. Ah, uh, yes. I can hear the spirits whispering something to me. The spirits are very happy today. They will do their best to shower everyone with good fortune. See, that's good. Uh, I mean, I, I'd hope so, though, because it is the first day, so. Living off the land. So this will basically just give you, like, 
tips for uh, how to play the game good. Welcome to Living Off the Land. We're back again with another tip for y'all. Now listen up. This one's for all of you greenhorns out there. Chop wood and search for wild forage to earn some cash. We're waiting for your first harvest. Same. So, uh, and then some of those change throughout the day. Like, it's not always going to have the uh, tips. Sometimes it's actually a food network type of thing. So you can learn how to cook different uh, in meals, uh, recipes. All right. Let's sleep. Hello there. Thank you for watching my dear boy's video. I never did understand that computer contraption. Would you do a dying man a quick favor? Please, like and subscribe. I know that would make my grandson very happy. Thank you all.